impressive. Kind of low key, I wanted to whale for her. Um, yes. Now that all the wounded servant has been treated, it's been completed. But, Miss Gulf, the problem now lies onto you. I must reevaluate your spirit ascension once again and what it has done to you. Especially that skin, the color distortion in your skin is very, um, questionable. I, I need to make sure that you're not ill of any kind and run a health status just in case. Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, check however you like. I'm okay with the little pain. I, I love pain. I'm really glad that you're a patient that's very cooperative. Then with that said, I will use I would like to ask I would like to ask Professor Strength for this as well. But Musta, please. Uh we apologize for the inconvenience, but please do understand. This is a necessary thing that needs to be done. And also, Captain needs you. Alright, you guys take care of Goho Chan, okay? Alright, we'll draw painting next time. Next time, alright? Yes. Thank you, Masta. Just uh, please be patient. Go, go home, Will. Uh, be right back. Of course. I think she's like more ballsy now that she's a. <clears throat> so everybody's like, Masta! Whoa, what the hell? Is everybody okay? Why are you all together? Um, yes. I understand that it would be invasion of privacy, but currently we knew that Mr. Uh, Miss Gojo had her irregularities, so we were tailing her, uh, tailing both of you just in case any problem were to occur. I'm very sorry. You, Masta, Union is quite and tremendously, uh, uh, tremendously in awe and amazed at you. What a very pure and hearted and fun date you had. And simultaneously, uh, and at the same time, you were able to in, uh, yeah, you were able to understand and realize what sort of situation that Miss Goho was in. And it was a fantastically wonderful job. The little Goho who had very trouble conversating uh, when she's alone by making by making her exploring to other people and going into a place so naturally and able to conversate with others so easily with you as a meteor a mediator it was nothing but an astonishment to witness ah <sighs> the bond creation there was so pure that i was almost it almost cleanses my soul it was so wholesome. It was so amazing. It also reminded me of my pastime of Union. Oh, yeah. Hime was here too, uh, for a decent part. And when she realized what was actually going on, uh, she kind of just closed all emotions and said, Bleh. my stomach hurts and started going uh, back to her own room because I think she got sick. Hmm. Well, I definitely wanted to value how great job you've done, but simultaneously, I would uh, understand that we need to check up on exactly what's happening to her. At this current, uh, at this current, uh, yeah, at this current rate, to be perfectly honest, treating her as a regular servant would definitely be out of the question. Is my honest opinion here. So, Captain, 
are you saying that right now she might be the sole problem of uh, sole problem the incident that occurred for all this are you saying that she is a suspect to all these problematic occurrence that's been happening here so far that's not what i meant my basis is just simple she's very unstable when it comes to mentality and the fact that she's very unsure of herself uh facing unknown danger in this current place having a foreigner that's unstable as a saint graph is very dangerous for our all of our safety wise is what the observation is the fact that this mental stress of the high altitude to the point that pressured into us uh pressured herself into a self ascension of a saint uh saint graph to ascend it's the fact that uh social don't need you know it says yeah even though the changes might be minuscule on the inside but the outside uh yeah changes might be just an appearance on the outside but on the inside her saint graph has changed completely into a something else it's an unknown thing there's too many variables all around there's uncertainties all around her she has a problem in her class in the first place and she's the unknown benefactor that will bring and cause us trouble into the later expedition And of course, I'm not going to just exclude her to be the problematic force too. Yun Yun, uh, Yun Gum Fei is also another problem. So we have two foreigners in the same ship, which would occur some irregularities might happen anytime soon, is what I'm speculating. And perhaps with two foreigners, one completely known and one unknown, I'm just afraid that Goho might complete herself as a foreigner. So, in this time, when she was taken to the hospital, she was taken to the hospital, and she was taken to the And worst case scenario, if she does get completed to be an official foreigner, I think in order to defeat her, Young Gun Bei was summoned to take care of the problem. Wait, what do you What do you mean like the counterforce kind of thing? Or wait, this is the same pattern with XX and Luluhawa. What? No, wait, right? No, that cannot happen. It must not. We've just met Goho Chan, and I wanted to really treat her like my little sister and I'm just Stating the worst case scenario at fact here. Nothing but speculation. But I need you, Protag, to at least have that worst case scenario uh, fall into our lap. Uh. So, oh. Hmm. It seems that the nurse has transferred me the new, uh, yeah, transferred me her thoughts, and I'm going to now update you with, uh, with what I know. We're going to be talking about her St. Graf Ascension, but other than taking up more resources, there's not really much changed for her in her outer appearance, uh, but nothing too game-changing at the moment. It's very weird. Uh, irregular skin tone, and from the blood samples in the St. Graf body that we've been Specifically thinking about it, this special rules appear to be making it so that it's close, almost to the close to the existence. The body is becoming nearly perfected to what it once was. So it says, yeah, it's almost as if it's almost, uh, yeah, it's almost as if it's trying to reach perfection or a existence that it takes perfect shape of what uh, Van Gogh is. Hmm. At this current time, we still have no, we still don't have enough materials to 
uh, do a deep analysis on. But at this very time, I still can treat her as a dangerous substance in this entire uh, operation. Like, for instance, we can definitely try to shut her off. Put her in a resting mode status, just like General Cove. Or maybe we can create a solitary confine room and lock her up there. I know my uh, I know my tone and my suggestions are very very dark and one-sided, but if the if the passenger that's going to be aboarding my ship that cause no harm and stay quiet, I think it's not a bad deal at all. And interaction with master I think we should limit that as best as possible. Limitation is everything. And after all, you are my master now. And means that you are the lifeline of the Nautilus. We can't lose you in any way or shape or form. Nemo, I I understand what you're trying to say and what you're trying to suggest, but I want you to knock that off. Hmm? Why is that? Why do you say that with so confidence? You do realize that Goho could definitely be the cause of all this irregular problem. You know that, right? And so I'm doing my very best and yet you're saying that um, that yeah that thing could be the sole problem that is threatening you the old history of humanity and this entire shipmate and crew uh, it says yeah we still haven't decided that she's dangerous just yet we don't know that or you got another option that says, even if it's dangerous, I definitely want to stay close and dissolve this misunderstanding. Huh. I see. So you're type of the person who won't put a lid into the problem, but you would purposefully open it and figure out why the problem is occurring, huh? Understood. I've figured out your uh, opinion and objective. And with that, I'll... Okay, yeah. And so with that, I, Nemo, uh, Servant Nemo, would... Mustani, um... Hano Shioko, huh? So yeah, he's going to revolt against Master. So he's going to reject us as a Master and become a rogue servant. Huh? A captain? Is it that surprising? You do realize that master and servants are nothing more than a relationship binded by a command seal. It's not absolute. Especially. It says, yeah, especially with your command seal. It's not an all do must command and it's not guarantee your safety whatsoever. The fact that you trust your owners and your masters to keep you alive and it's not something that will bind me to you forever. You gotta understand, before I'm a servant, I'm a phantom, a spirit. Even if my Saint Graph might be quite minuscule. Uh, so for me, something that's very unavoidable in my decision to be different and uh, different opinionated. Uh, so essentially, Nemo is saying, "Fuck you!" All right, you're gonna then you're gonna be confined. Essentially, is saying. 
It says, before I'm a servant, I'm a, a phantom spirit. Just, I might be, yeah, even if my Saint Graph is not that strong, I will still uphold my opinion and will do what I feel is the best. I'm in charge of this ship and I'm the heart of this ship. I won't, yeah, I won't be sticking around with a master who's willing to install a dangerous, uh, yeah, a dangerous time bomb into my ship whatsoever. It says, yeah, from here on now, it's just going to be different between uh, getting out of here alive. And that's the problem. Responsibility shortering anymore. It's now this charade is over. So let's battle, okay? Stupidly. And make sure you. Uh, yeah, so let's fight, huh? Because I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna take your shit anymore. Says. Hmm. So essentially, yeah, Nemo says, uh, "I want to." Yeah, uh, she want he, he wants to eat uh, Van Gogh because she's way too unpredictable and dangerous, and he's thinking that if we complete this foreigner, we might kill ourselves. Uh, and Nemo says, I'm not going to stick with a master who's willing to open a lid to a ticking time bomb uh, and try to figure out a problem and kill all of us inside. And so he says, if you win, I'll, yeah, with this disrespectful, yeah, with in order to uh, re, uh, refurbish this disrespectfulness, I'll obey every single one of your commands. But if I, but if you lose... I need you to forget this little commanding game of charade, and you're going to work exactly right under me as a footman and listen to exactly what I say. Um, Captain, I believe I'm afraid that this is not the time to be arguing like this. M Master, please try to explain, Captain, what the situation could be. Nope. Mash. We gotta fight this. Prepare the simulator, will you? M -m Master, are you sure for real? It says, who oh, it's been quite a while since I was able to exit from the workshop. Ah, the light is quite bright in my eyes. It seems that my Saint Graf is quite exhausted. Uh, Um, uh, attempts to take a joke of the Yoda. <laughs> it seems that my tiredness, yeah, so essentially my tiredness is uh, being seeped away. Uh, so it says, Are you sure about that? Right now, we're having a problem with the uh, yeah, uh, uh problem with the uh, power struggle, uh, commanding. A command, uh, what's the word? Ah, oh, fuck, what? I forgot the Turmoil, there we go. Turmoil when it comes to, uh, power and command, uh, commandings. Oh, what are you saying, Matt? These lovely childs have their, each of their own opinion. It's so beautiful. They would fight each other and strengthen their bond. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, it's a wonderful and... Uh, yeah, wonderful and beautiful moment that I'm witnessing. Worth all the troubles I went through. I will not be stopping this, nor do I have any reason. So essentially says, all is fair, go fight. And, you know, deepen your relationship with together. Um, wait, uh... Yeah, it's uh, like that. It's like, hmm. hey, I'm going to be doing this. I don't have any regrets later on in life. Ah, uh, yeah, I won't have any regrets doing this. I don't want to feel I should have done this or I should have done that. I am going to do this, and this will settle everything. I don't want to be the one that should that should 
I don't want to be the one that's saying those words and trying to bear, yeah, try to push away the responsibilities in any shape or form. <laughs> I won't be, yeah. I won't hesitate to do what I needs to be done. It's all going to depend on who said what and who was agreed to what. Was it a personal responsibility or was it the entire crew's responsibility? And if we don't keep this uh, black and white or straightforward, our mission will fail. Our operation will not succeed and doubt will lead us divided and will not have a cooperation. Especially in a life underneath the submarine like this in a closed space like that. So this is technically an official way of judge, uh, judging things and keeping things uh, into place and to restore order. If we fight right here, right now everything will be settled it'll be simple so this is the time to fight must up protag come with all you got let's see that your determination outdoes mine let's <laughs> grumpy face um Excuse me, I I did won the battle here. Hey, um, y you know, like, you're... Hey, this was supposed to be a 1v1, right? Why, why did you actually come with full roster? That's... What? Um, you... You, but, um, you did say use your full strength to come... Well, I heard that. Mm, understood. I guess this is a perfect wording in JP uh, language, huh? It says that word has tenses and meanings in each time. Um, C Captain Nemo, was this all right? <sighs> no, yeah, it's all right. As I promised, I'll... Listen to exactly what Captain and uh, yeah, um, Commandant and Officer currently in whatever he said. From here on now, if ever Gohol cause any sorts of problem, the entire ship crew will try to uh, yeah, try to uh, solve the situation with the same uh, pretense. And whenever it happens, we're not going to pressure Goho, nor we're not going to pressure you, Musta. And if I were to say extra things, right now, the servants that you use, I will not be mad at them either. And when Nautilus will have an immediate danger of some sort, when that happens, the responsibility will be taken care of and solved by all the crew. Well, that's that. As expected of Captain Nemo. Thanks, Nemo. Yeah, yeah. Well, anywho, we lost here. And uh, from here on out, you're the winner. So you get to talk. I'm not going to say... Yeah, I'm not going to say my sorry, you know. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. Well, one problem has been solved just now, but I do have to talk with the uh, commanding officer current. It's top secret once again. I need everybody out. And sorry, man, that includes you too. Sorry about that. Wait, you're gonna apologize now? <laughs> um, no. That's not the part I'm apologizing for. The reason my confusion occurred 
I know for a fact that it wasn't normal. What I wanted to apologize was the talk before, is that I've ridiculed or if not insulted your determination to solve this um, solution, and I've called you weak. And in the very end, I've technically relied on you. So in the end, I've made you made the ultimate decision by having this situation played out directly under my, uh, directly on my hands, and I've relied on you for your answer instead of trying to solve it together. I emotional wise too I don't want to treat her bad that goho girl too but right now currently all my all my uh yeah all my consciousness are quite split the engine and the marines and bakery agree to treat her normally the way she is the nurse is a neutral stance while professor uh professor does not uh yeah professor is uh vetoing the entire uh idea and on top of that i made you make your decision forcefully and in the end i was supposed to make the decision because i was the ship captain it's that's why i'm apologizing it's because I couldn't come up with the solution and I made you pick it for me. Well, I can understand, but you gotta understand, too. The reason why we want to be good to uh, Goho is because she looks like Nemo. She looks like you. Well, <laughs> I guess that's true. I'm not a legit heroic spirit after all. I'm a mix of two heroic spirits or folklore into one. I'm just a mixed breed of tales. Now that I've experienced India traversing the sea, I've figured out and known that myself was Nemo but it was something that accumulated and it wasn't really explained maybe she too is experiencing the struggle too of not knowing who she is so maybe in the depths of my feelings I think I want to help her out too And on the emotional side, I bet you're going to help her. And in my opinion, you could save her. But the problem is, is that she's an extra class. And the problem with that on top of it is... Don't worry. If everybody, uh, yeah, if everybody fights it all together, we'll pull it off somehow. <laughs> Jeez. Let's just leave it at that for now, then. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Musta. <laughs> Once I was released from the infirmary, the night was quite spectacular. <laughs> Able to enjoy. enjoy master and was able to paint that quite a moment <laughs> it feels like an ex crocking feeling it was great i've uh peaked it was wonderful and simultaneously i was able to witness a uh live uh real life Hawk size uh, 
paintings. <laughs> I'm quite uh, happy. Perhaps this is a dream. <laughs> uh, I can feel it. It's like like a dream. A warm light. I see it when I close my eyes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I bloomed. <laughs> Go <-ho> joke. <laughs> I'm quite in super high tension. Yes. Goho is high. High is Goho. Oh, ho, hey, hi. But it seems it's time for me to sleep. I run out of magical energy. I'll take a nap. <laughs> Good night. Yes. Th thank you. T truly. <laughs> Master. I. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Senpai, great work. It says, uh, after that, without any hitch or irregularities and problems, the Miss Gojo Sanda has been released safely. You've been up all night drawing pictures? No, it was just like show and tell of sort, but. And that almost felt like you were being trained into drawing. Yeah, it was quite insane. It almost like Sparta. Sparta-like drawing technique. But huh, it seems that Miss Gojo, who was teaching diligently to master, <laughs> looked like she was had the best time of her life, even in all her dates. Is that what you saw, man? Um, e e e yes. Is that not the case? It almost felt like she was concentrating all the time she was having fun, and it looked like she was averting from the uncertainty, is what I saw. What? But, um, if Senpai says it so, it might be true. I wonder in order to actually reach the true happiness of her uh, Miss Goho's smile, I wonder what we need to do. 